What is the PB ratio? The price to book ratio, or price to book multiple, is a valuation metric used by investors to determine how much they're willing to pay for a company's stock compared to the book value of that company. It's calculated by taking the company's share price and dividing it by the company's book value per share. The book value, or equity of the company, is simply what the company would be worth if it sold all of its assets and paid off all of its liabilities. A positive book value would mean the company has more assets than liabilities. A negative book value would mean the company has more liabilities than assets. How would investors use the PB ratio? Let's say Warren wants to invest in Dara's Diner. Dara's Diner has a book value of $100,000 and 50,000 shares outstanding, resulting in a book value per share of $2. The company currently trades at $4 per share. Using the PB ratio, we can say that Dara's Diner trades at two times its book value. In other words, the stock costs twice as much as the assets could be sold for. A high PB ratio would indicate a company's stock is expensive, whereas a low PB ratio would indicate a company might be cheap when compared to the company's net assets. A company might trade at a high PB ratio when investors believe the company has a lot of growth potential. In contrast, a company might trade at a low PB ratio where investors aren't overly optimistic about the future performance. As a rule of thumb, a price to book ratio of less than one would mean you're paying a price less than what the company's net assets are worth. A price to book of greater than one would mean you're paying a price more than what the net assets are worth. A negative PB ratio means the company has more liabilities than assets. Investors would typically use the price to book ratio where there's a greater emphasis on the company's assets rather than the company's potential earning power. It's typically used in liquidation situations where a company is broken up and sold. However, it can be used as a benchmark against other companies, industries, or the market as a whole on a net asset basis. The PB ratio alone is not enough to make an investment decision. It's only one of the many metrics investors use to evaluate stocks. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and smash that like button.